uh, two, two p has less energy than three p. So we write two p. Now we fill this, then this, then this. Now we are left with um, twelve electrons. Then we start filling this, then this, then this. Now we are left with nine electrons. So after two p, we'll come to three s. Sorry about that. Three s. So um, we have over here one and two. Now we are left with seven electrons. Then from three s, we know we'll go to three p. So one, two, and three. Now we know that uh, now we are left with four electrons. So one, two, and three. Now we are left with one electrons. So if you remember. After three p comes four s because four s has less energy than three d. So four s will always fill first, and then three d will fill. So after four s comes three d, and uh, so after 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 three p comes four s, and after four s comes three d. So we'll have to write four s over here. We are only left with one electron, so there will be one electron. So this is the the elect. So for, if we write the electronic configuration. Of potassium, it's one s two, two s two, two p six, three s one, three p six. Sorry, three s two, not three s one, because there are I made a mistake over here. Because there are two electrons in three s, so three s two, three p six, and four s one. Now, till here. Everything is the electronic configuration of argon. Everything is the electronic configuration of argon. So we can also write it as Ar for argon, and um, then we will write 4s1 because after argon, the 4s1 subshell is being 4s is being filled after everything from argon as well. Then if we write, if we have calcium. So before that, actually, before that, now if you if you if you see the con conventional electronic configuration, it will become two, eight, eight, one. So when you did your IGCSEs, you must have thought that the third shell can have a total of nine electrons, right? The third shell can have a total of, sorry, the third shell can have a have a total of eighteen electrons because two into three is six. Six into three is eighteen. Two n square. So the third shell can have a total of eighteen electrons. So why is this not two eight nine? And why is this two? Why is this correct? And why is this not correct? Now this is this one. The first one is correct because if you see in the first shell we have two electrons. In the second shell we have two plus six eight electrons. In the third shell we have two plus six eight electrons. And that one electron is not in the third shell; it is in the fourth shell. So that's why it will come here, and it will not. It that's why it will have. It will have to be in the fourth shell. So two eight eight one, and it's not in the third shell. So it will not be two eight nine. So that's how. That's why we get two eight eight one, and not two eight nine, right? Let's. Uh, so we are done with this. Now uh, let's take calcium. Calcium has twenty electrons in total, which means one more electron than potassium. So just this will fill. So so this will become the total electronic configuration of calcium is four s two. Then we'll also have to write it as four s two, and then the conventional electronic configuration will become two eight eight. Two rather than two eight ten, because the two electrons, these last two electrons, are not in the third shell; they are in the fourth shell. If you can see from the electronic configuration. Now let's have a look at scandium. Now, when we have a look at scandium, which is S C, then after four, uh, scandium has twenty one electrons, which means one more than calcium. So then we'll have to go to the three D subshell because now everything in the four S is full. 
So we'll have to go to the 3D subshell, which has five orbitals, and one uh, the first. Orbital